Hey, what time is it? It's time for me to make a reference to a show I don't even keep up with that much, if I'm being honest. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, it's time for me to talk about Star Fox. Anyway, so, for those who don't know, uh, I'm a really big fan of Star Fox. I'm, I've been following the, 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 eh, the franchise ever since I was, like, 12, 11-ish, um... Ever since I first played Star Fox Assault, I instantly fell in love with the story, I fell in love with the plot, I fell in love with the gameplay, I fell in love with everything about it. Um, I played 64. Uh, I've played, I think, a little bit of Adventures, uh, but I know the whole story of Adventures front to back. And I played, to my regret, I played Command, but uh, I don't want to talk too much about that. Anyway. So, naturally, I was really excited to hear the news of a new Star Fox game coming out, and even though this video is late by, like, a, a f more than a few months, uh, I was planning to release this a lot earlier, but better late than never, so anyway. So, yeah, new Star, Fox, new Star Fox game coming out for Wii U. Um, uh, I, I got the Wikipedia article with me right here, I'm just gonna read it to you guys. Uh, journalists received an early private gameplay demonstration of the incomplete game at, two, at the 2014's pre-E3 event. The player can steer with the left control stick and aims with the gamepad motion sensing. The game uses a new dual screen mechanic, turning the Wii U gamepad into the view of a cockpit in the Arwing, in, in the, uh, uh, yeah, Arwing fighter. While a monitor shows the perspective from behind the Arwing, players may also use the gyro sensors uh, of the gamepad to independently target enemies. Jose Otero of IGN described this interface method as intu intuitive, 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 providing a clear advantage over prior games in the series. The gamepad instantly switches between the Arrowing and Landmaster's ta Landmaster tank with the press of a button, and the game also introduces a new helicopter-type vehicle. Um, so it seems like this game, uh, the gameplay here seems a little reminiscent of uh, Commands, with the whole dual screen mechanic thing. Um, and like, and like, uh, um, yeah, like you just sort of move the screen and that, uh, that, that sounds really interesting to me. Like you move the screen and it sort of changes your view. Uh, that, that, that does sound really cool. Um, this game, it, it also says like, uh, that Miyamoto confirmed that the game will be compatible with Amiibo, but didn't specify in what way. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not too big into the whole amiibo craze going on right now. Like, I know, like, like right now there's, like, a huge demand over amiibos to the point where some guy, like, stole all, like, bought off all these uh, Rosalina amiibos just to be a troll or something like that, or just because he could, I don't know. Like, there's just, uh, like, people are going crazy over amiibos, but I, I have yet to buy an amiibo, but this game just might ignite a certain spark in me that will prompt me to buy a Fox, Falco, or any other Star Fox character amiibo if they come out with any of those, so, yeah. Uh, I, I, I really would be interested to see how they incorporate that, the, ami the amiibos into this game, like, uh, Maybe they could have amiibos for like new vehicles, or like uh, from a new great box, or or stuff like that. Or they could have amiibos for like equipment or stuff like that that y you couldn't really get in the game. Um, they could do stuff like that. That sounds pretty interesting. Um, so so here, here I can go on reading the article. On January 5th, 2015, he confirmed that Miyamoto confirmed that Star Fox will be playable at the upcoming E3 2015 event and reiterated uh, of a gamepad monitor slash monitor gameplay method, which will, which quote, will allow for cinematic moments to blend with continuous gameplay, unquote. On February 18th, it was confirmed that the game could be played with either the gamepad's motion controls or the gamepad's analog sticks. Um... So yeah, I look forward to, to hearing, to, well, to checking out, like, uh, like online, obviously, because I don't think I'll be able to, I'm, I'm 99% sure I won't be able to go to this year's E3 event, but I do look forward to hearing more about this, um, I'll probably, uh, in fact, I'll probably update this video 
uh, after it, uh, but Star Fox King that's shown at E3 this year. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the whole. And, and what really interests what really interests me is, is this uh, helicopter type vehicle. Um, but honestly, I'm I kind of miss the Blue Marine. I don't know about you guys. I really miss the Blue Marine. I mean, like, I mean, they just they they just gave it to us in '64, and they and then they, and then they were just like, nope, not it's just it's just like even even in Command, which featured Aquas, they didn't they, they didn't bring back the Blue Marine. Like, I I really, I really like the Blue Marine. I mean, come on. I mean, I mean, I hope they bring that back for this game. I don't know about you guys. I really like that. Hmm. So. That's it for the gameplay. Uh, I may as well talk about like what I expect from a plot perspective, I suppose. Anyway, so what I'm hoping for this... Uh, first off, I really, really hope that they make Command non-canon. Like, just... I, I look at Star Fox Command as like the Dragon Ball GT of a series. Like, it just never happened. It was just like, no, just like... No, I mean, like, at first I liked it when I was in, like, the seventh grade. Well, I was in, like, middle school, I loved it. But then when I grew up, oh, I just realized I hated that game so much. I mean, the gameplay was okay, but the plot, oh, my God. It was just too much drama. The whole thing between Fox and Crystal was totally overblown. Uh, like, Fox forcing Crystal to leave just felt, I don't know. I mean, it just felt kind of, it just felt out of character, like, well, maybe not out of character, but, like, they took an aspect of his character, like, but I guess you could say the nobility of his character and took it way out of proportion. I don't know. Anyway. I'm, yeah, I'm just hoping that the plot of this game will in, uh, completely retcon Command out of continuity. Uh, continuity? I can't even speak right now. Yeah. So where's that? And I'll be honest with you guys. Um, I do kinda sorta hope they bring back Andros. I mean, I kinda hope it, but I kinda... I mean, I have mixed feelings about it. Like, on the one hand, I want them to bring back Andros because I feel like Adventures kinda botched the concept, like, by just throwing him in at the last minute. Uh, when Scales was hyped up to be this really cool, badass villain, and then when you were about, when you were about to fight him, it, it, it just... It, it, it just, like, uh... It, it just switches over to Andros. Like, uh, so yeah, I really think they botched up a concept of bringing back, of resurrecting Andros for a, for a second, uh, for a second, uh, appearance. And I kinda hope that this game, if they do bring back Andros, I hope they'll do it right this time. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I hope they'll do it right this time. But at the same time, if they do bring back Andros, it might seem like, oh, well, you're not being original. You're not really being creative enough like you were with the Aperoids. The Aperoids were cool, man. Like, the Aperoids were just, oh, my God, the Aperoids were awesome. Um, but, so, yeah, like, uh, um, if not Andros, of course, I do hope for a really cool original threat like they did, like, again, they did with the Aperoids. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, what else is there? Oh, I hope that, I definitely hope they'll bring back Star Wolf. Again, if they, this is assuming they retcon command out of c continuity. Uh, because at the end of, of, at the end of Assault, it's kind of, sort of implied that Star Wolf is dead. I really hope they're not dead. I really just, I would be so pissed off if they kill off Star Wolf. I would be so pissed off if they leave out Wolf and Panther and Leon. Especially Panther, man. That guy was just so much fun. Um, I'm hoping, too, that they'll make Leon a little less creepy in this game. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. Uh, okay, when I said earlier, like, retcon command out of continuity, like, they don't have to ret ret retcon the whole thing. They could bring in certain aspects of a of the game, like, they could bring back Dash Bowman as Andross's grandson. Like, I do like the idea of Star Fox working together with, yeah, yeah. Star Fox working together with Andross's grandson, like that idea does seem really cool to me, but I don't, I don't think it was executed enough. Like I, I feel like Fox should have been a lot more weary with uh, Andross's grandson in that game. I don't know about you guys, that that's one of the problems I have with Command, to be honest. But yeah, 
Uh, so they can bring Dash Bowman in, and who knows? We might even get to see him and Oikini uh, uh, clash. Like him and Oikini could have like, uh, you know, because Dash Bowman is like, you know, he respects his grandfather, but he he doesn't want to go all out, just fuck everybody and take over Violet system like Oikini does. So. The clash of their, I guess, worldviews, you could say, would make for an interesting, you know, familial conflict. Which, that would be pretty interesting, pretty cool to see. Um, yeah, there's that, and yeah, I hope they just... I hope... Uh, I'm kind of hoping General Pepper is also still alive. Uh, but if not, like, I, I won't miss him too much if they decide to kill him off, but I will be a little, you know... I will be just a little, just a little, like, maybe just a little sad. Maybe just a little. Maybe. I don't know. He, he's, a, he is a cool dude. He, he is a cool dude. He is cool. So, yeah. Uh, the gameplay for this seems pretty decent, pr pretty awesome so far. Again, with the whole amiibo thing, uh... This just might ignite a certain passion of my in, within me for amiibos. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, mm -hmm. That's I. I think I pretty much have. Oh, oh, one more thing. One more thing. Before I forget, before I log out, they have to bring back Bill Gray and Cat Monroe. Because uh, like in Command, I feel like they just weren't. I mean, they, they completely redesigned Cat, for one thing, which was weird, and they gave Bill this southern accent. Uh, or he talked like a southerner, which I thought was, like, dude, you talk like a, you were from freaking California in 64, and when did, they, when did they go from that to southern, which it isn't too bad, but yeah. Uh, I want them to have a much bigger role in this game. If they bring him back, I want them to have, like, a really a bigger role in this game than they did in Command or 64. Uh, like we can, we can learn more about uh, Bill's past with Fox, how they, how they became friends. Like maybe Bill was, who knows? Maybe Bill was like uh, James McLeod's apprentice. You know, we can learn more about Cat. Well, no, no, actually, we already do know about Cat and Falco's past. Uh, for those of you that have read the manga, uh, fare, what was it? Uh, Farewell, beloved Falco. Yeah, so we are, so we already know about that. Um, but I mean. Just to see Cat again, uh, with, with her old design, preferably from uh, 64, would be, uh, that, that would be really cool. So yeah, bring back Bill and Cat. And, uh, so I, can, um, I think I've pretty much gone over everything that has to be said. Um, tell me what you guys think. Uh, if, you, if you're all into Star Fox, like, what do you expect from this game? Are you as excited for it as I am? Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, peace.